Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do a raw and a real night in the life with a newborn. If you guys haven't already seen my day in the life with a newborn, make sure to check out that video. It is raw, it is real, and it is 100% authentic. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So right after Garrett gets home, I will kind of put Jace in the swing and get dinner started. Cooking dinner can be really challenging when you have a new baby. A lot of the times we just have something really quick and simple like some pasta or some ramen. While I'm cooking, Garrett will go ahead and finish any projects and anything he's left over from work and I will go ahead and get dinner prepared. Tonight we're having a chicken pasta with some spinach. I am also cooking some broccoli for us just with a touch of soy sauce to get in our vegetables. So right now Jace is still sleeping in the swing. A lot of the times this is not the case. Usually one of us will eat and the other person will have to hold him and console him or feed him or something like that while the other one eats and usually I am the one feeding him at first because I feed him on the breast and then once he is done I will go ahead and take my turn eating but tonight we were very lucky and we both got to sit down and eat and talk with each other and just kind of share our day together and if we are fortunate enough to do that we will kind of just talk to one another and share our day and watch some television and catch up on our favorite TV shows. Just in time as we finished our dinner and I'm gonna go ahead and take him in the room and feed him a little bit and just have a little bit of quiet bonding time. And then when I'm done, Garrett likes to spend some quality time with him and usually he'll do some skin to skin or some talking to him and just kind of bonding together and spending that quality father and son time that is really undervalued and underrated. Garrett really enjoys taking part in his care and kind of burping him and feeding him and making faces and playing with him. So Garrett takes whatever time he can. Garrett just recently is going back to work so he really misses some of these more precious moments that he doesn't get to experience with him every day so every time when he comes home he will kind of play with Jace a little bit and just get any time that he can and I think it is incredibly adorable and cute when these two spend time together and I just love seeing them bond. So Jace is wet again, so Garrett is gonna go ahead and give him a diaper change. You guys didn't get to see all of the diaper changes in my day in the life, but I would say averaging right now, newborn babies, especially around Jace's age, go through about seven diapers a day or so, give or take their eating, and whether or not they're going through any gross spurts, typically, He'll have one poop, maybe two a day, and the rest will be just wet diapers. Jace is off to sleep again, so we're going to go ahead and put him in the swing again so we can go ahead and take care of a few more chores. Garrett is gonna go ahead and do the dinner dishes. It's really funny because Garrett and I both despise doing the dishes, so a lot of the times we fight over whose turn it is to do the dishes. 
Meanwhile, while Garrett is doing the dishes, usually I will go on my computer for a little bit. A lot of the times I am actually on Amazon. When you have a newborn baby, you actually run out of stuff a lot faster than you would think. And sometimes you just really need an item. Amazon is just so convenient, especially with that two day prime shipping that we order a lot of our stuff on Amazon rather than going out to the store and getting it so that we just save ourselves the extra trip. And as you guys can see, Jace is hungry again. And this time, Garrett is gonna be feeding him a little bit with some milk that I pumped from before. These two will kind of bond together over the feeding. The feeding of a newborn baby is so sacred and so precious. It's really one of the most beautiful moments you can share with a newborn. You can just feel the warmth and the connection of this beautiful time together. Now, Jace is really tough to get burps out of. We really have a hard time burping him, especially when he's coming off the breast. I just find it a lot easier to burp him when he comes off of the bottle, but for some reason, he's just really tough to get burps out of, and if you don't get those burps out, then you really regret it later because they are extremely fussy and grumpy. So now we go ahead and just wash Jace's head off. Jace does have really bad cradle calf, and I'll be honest with you guys, we really don't give him a bath every day. It's really such a hassle, and it can sometimes just be really over overwhelming especially for Jace. He's not really into the bath quite yet. Sometimes he's okay with it and sometimes he screams and cries the entire time but I do like to just give him a quick rinse off especially on the top of his head daily or every other day because his cradle cap like I said is really really bad guys. I've tried a couple of different things. There's still a couple of things I have yet to try to get rid of that. As you guys can see he's really not a fan of this. After that ordeal, we go ahead and get Jace changed into his pajama wear. Today he's wearing a really cute yellow onesie with some little puppies on it. He gets really cold and he gets really upset around bath time, so I try to get him dressed as quickly as possible, but sometimes he fights me and he gets his little hands or his little legs out of where I put them, so sometimes it does take a little bit longer than I intended to. Jace is really good at being calmed down for the most part, as you guys can see here. He really just wants that connection and that comfort to know that somebody is there for him and somebody cares about what he's suffering through. So I always try to do my best to make that known to him. And once he's done, we will kind of go ahead and look at each other a little bit more, spend a little bit more time with each other and make faces. And then once he is bored of that, I go ahead and put on another Baby Einstein video for him. Guys, he loves, and I mean loves, these videos. There's a bunch of different types of these videos that I will put on for him. Right now, he's really into the Baby Mozart because it's bright and colorful, and it has lots of beautiful music that he's really, really interested in and this kind of will calm him down and get him settled in for the night time and meanwhile while he is doing that I'm gonna go ahead and get myself prepared for the evening now I'll be honest with you guys we really don't have a nighttime routine just yet we're kind of just throwing caution to the wind and getting done whatever we can get done every night is a little bit different but for the most part this is what our average day looks like so pretty much to just give myself a little bit of self-care I will go ahead and put on some eye cream use some q-tips brush my teeth and use some hair treatments so I don't get a shower every single day the only time you can really take them is in the dead of night and most of the times I prefer sleeping instead but I do try to give myself a little bit of self-care time even if it's just five to ten minutes 
And as you guys can see, Jace is still very entertained with his video by the time I get back. And I do also rub this on my stomach. I forgot to show you guys earlier. It is just some cocoa butter pills every single day. I take the stool softener, which I use for my constipation, which I'll talk a little bit about in my postpartum video. And I also am still taking a prenatal vitamin since I am breastfeeding. And also right now I am taking a heavy antibiotic for my mastitis and guys I am so bad at taking pills it is my least favorite thing in the entire world I'm really like such a baby when it comes to taking medicine whether it's liquid pills any type of medicine I'm really such an infant about it and I complain and I just make it a really dramatic ordeal I tried to really play it down here for you guys but in reality most of the time I'm like really fussing and I smile here because Garrett knows that I'm really underplaying it right now. And Jace has drifted off to sleep. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and pump a little bit. I'll also be honest with you guys, I really don't like pumping. I much prefer to have Jace feed at the breast. However, I know that it's really important to pump. And I also am trying to increase my milk supply right now. And at this point, Garrett and I will kind of just sit down and relax for a little bit and get any quality time we can get with each other, lay in bed, watch a little bit of television, and usually we fall asleep to this because we're both so exhausted. We don't get to spend this opportunity every night. It really depends on how Jace is during the day, but a lot of the times we don't like to just go straight to sleep. When he's asleep, we like to just spend a little bit of time together, so it kind of makes everything seem a lot more normal in the day for us. After that, we have fallen asleep and Jace is up again just a little bit after we had just fallen asleep and at this point he is feeding the milk that I had pumped earlier and it is mixed with some formula to add a little bit more substance to it and to make the bottle a little bit larger for him so that he's not so upset at nighttime. And right now, Jace is waking up to just get a little bit of skin to skin, a little bit of connection. This is the part that they don't really tell you about as much when you are a mother. But sometimes babies wake up and they really just want attention and affection. And they tell you in the hospital how really important and sacred this time is that you shouldn't ignore your newborn. And throughout our day, I do like to incorporate a little bit of everything. I do make sure that I incorporate some skin to skin time, some late time, some quality breastfeeding time, some tummy time to help his motor skills, and also some personal interaction with each other, making faces to get his social interaction. So I do try to make sure I hit a lot of key points throughout every day. Now this doesn't happen every single day, but I do make it a goal for myself to make sure that I do incorporate a little bit of each thing every day so that he is growing in a more multiple array of different areas and at this point and Jace is up again as you guys can see there are some times in the night where I'll wake up to check on him and he is kind of just staring at the ceiling just kind of looking around in his bassinet not really being bothered by anything and he is hungry again so I'm gonna feed him a little bit more and at this point Garrett is asleep right now and it is very late for us but like you guys can see we do leave the TV on at night because I do have a problem with falling asleep in the middle of the night when I feed him and it is a very serious issue for me so leaving the TV on does help me have something to focus on so it minimizes my chances of falling asleep which can be very dangerous for Jace. It doesn't always work, I'll be completely honest. Sometimes I do doze off a little bit and Jace is still feeding at the breast or he will pop off and he's just laying there on the boppy. But I find watching the television does keep my energy up just a bit and it does give me something to focus on and kind of pay attention to so that I am more alert and my brain is less likely to fall asleep. Let me know if you guys have any tips and tricks to staying awake in the middle of the night when you are breastfeeding. I would be really interested because this is okay for me. It doesn't work every time, but it is a lot better than if I don't have it on. And our nighttime routine comes to a close. 
Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this raw and real night in the life with a newborn. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.